Hello and welcome to Better Geology. I'm Andrew Dunning and I'm at the Clarno Palisades at the John Day Fossil Beds. Behind me is a set of colossal cliffs that are made of ancient landslides. The landslides that compose up these cliffs date back over 40 million years ago to when colossal stratovolcanoes the size of Oregon's Mount Hood dotted the landscape. In those days, Oregon was a tropical paradise akin to modern-day Nicaragua that received meters of rain a year and was covered in a dense tropical rainforest. Wandering the rainforest in those days was a lot of animals, many of which have no modern-day descendants. Many of these extinct animals have been preserved in the fossil record and are now on display at the Thomas Condon Paleontology Center at the Sheep Rock Unit of the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument. The Clarno Palisades, the cliff behind me, is composed of ancient landslides that flowed off of the many tall volcanoes that dotted the landscape. The landslides preserved not only an eruptive history of the volcanoes that produced them, but also encapsulated much of the plant and animal life that covered the landscape in that time. These landslides are called lahars. And these volcanoes used to produce a lot of ash that covered the landscape in deep layers. Because of the high rainfall at that time, a lot of this ash was able to mobilize due to the water content and flow down the hills in these colossal lahar mudslides. These ashy lahar mud flows were really thick, almost the consistency of wet concrete, and take up anything that's in its path and tumbles it through the inside of the landslide. As I approach the cliffside, you can see that many different layers exist within this formation. That shows that landslides covered this area many, many times over millions of years. The fact that all these landslides are stacked on top of each other shows that this was a canyon, and that these mud flows filled up this canyon bottom repeatedly over millions of years. Stuck in these preserved landslides are fossils of trees and leaves and plants and flowers and animals. Many of the plants and trees that are fossilized in these mud flows have modern day descendants, such as camellia, avocado, or katsura. This has been Better Geology. My name is Andrew Dunning. Thank you for watching.